Hello guys, this is Ice from Ice Games, the YouTube channel where we race cars, where we drift and where we have a lot of fun. And you're probably wondering, hey Ice, what is this game? It doesn't look like Forza Horizon 5. Yes, of course, because it's Forza Horizon 1. And guess what? This is a new series. Probably it depends on you whether you like this series or not. Well, this is the first or maybe the last episode of Forza Horizon 1 Revisited. So today uh, we are looking at this game and this game is uh, 10 years old because it was first launched in 2012 and I'm pretty sure many of you don't even know this game existed and uh, never played this game because it was uh, an exclusive game for um, Microsoft Xbox 360. It was never launched on any other console or PC. So to play this game, many, many, many gamers had to buy uh, the Xbox 360 console. And I was very lucky because I had uh, my Xbox 360 bought in uh, 2008 I guess probably so I was very lucky to play this game and it was the start it was the beginning of it all and this game was epic and you know what after playing for the horizon 4 and 5 for a pretty long time uh, I should probably say that this game feels very different to modern for the horizon series because it's not an arcade, the handling of the cars, uh, the way they move, the way they ride and the way they feel is totally different to what you get in uh, modern Forza Horizons. Mainly because Forza Horizon 1 was made on the uh, game engine of Forza Motorsport. So uh, the cars um, handle pretty much more realistically than in modern Forza Horizons. It's not uh, that fun, it's not um, a lot of activities as in Forza Horizon 4 or Forza Horizon 5 and mainly you just uh, race and you have uh, a lot of races on the map and you have some challenges, not a lot of challenges. Uh, but some of them are quite nice actually and uh, you cannot fast travel uh, as easily as in uh, modern Forza Horizon because uh, you can fast travel only to the Horizon Outpost, Horizon Festival Outpost which you must open on the map if you first have to search for them you have to find them and then there are various challenges you have to accomplish uh, three challenges now uh, to be able to fast travel to this particular outpost for free because once you find it you can fast travel to this outpost now uh, for the price of 10,000 credits and if you want uh, this fast travel uh, being free you must complete three challenges one of which is usually speed stunts and here we have Ferrari F50 GT and we must reach 225 km per hour in one and a half minutes. Another one is a photo challenge, photo shoot and we have to make a nice uh, image of a Dodge Viper uh, near the satellite dishes in Media Center. And the third uh, challenge on this Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 is a skill stunt. You have to get 15,000 points in two minutes. It all sounds quite easy, but believe me, it's not very simple because uh, the physics in this game are totally different to Forza Horizon 4 and 5. And if you start playing Forza Horizon 1, never playing it before, after you have played Forza Horizon 5 for a very long time, believe me, you will have a lot of problems at first. Uh, you will have to totally change uh, the way you drive your car because they feel you know, really different. Uh, 
it's it's more like a simulator than an arcade okay so we have one and a half minutes to reach the destination and set the speed record of 225 kilometers per hour okay so let's do so very nice car controls beautifully Oof. and uh, for the horizon one region is colorado usa in the map is not very large because it was first for the horizon of course but uh, the scenery is usually very pretty. A lot of mountain areas, a lot of forests. Uh, the one drawback is that um, it's not all that free roam because you cannot uh, see, you cannot uh, break the fences, and most of the time uh, you are strictly. Oh, oh my God! Uh, most of the time you are restricted to the roads. 225 and will we be able to do it okay 232 barely barely we did it barely so most of the times you stick to the road so it's it's a free roam but uh, you get to ride only the roads and in some regions you get to ride the gravel but you cannot uh, just break the fence and go into some woods or some forests or anywhere you like that's the restriction of Forza Horizon 1. So we've done with the speed stunts. Uh, we'll leave the photo shoot uh, for the last uh, skill stunts on this Camaro ZL1. Uh, and we have 15,000 points. And it seems uh, like an easy task, but believe me, once again, it's not that easy because cars here, uh, they, they're... Um, completely different to the cars uh, in Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5. They handle absolutely differently. And it is quite hard to drift in this game. And uh, Forza Horizon 1 didn't have any drifting zones. So you could drift only uh, within the roads. Okay. And... Uh, one life hack it is much easier to collect the needed points by or by driving very fast and performing near misses than by drifting because on such cars not very powerful it is a powerful it is a powerful car but not so powerful it is quite difficult to set the needed kind of points just by drifting Okay, so we have one minute left. Okay, so let's try just to speed up and perform near misses. And this way we get to collect the needed amount of points much easier. Okay, for some drifting here. Okay. Some more drift and we need... 4,000 points, guys, that will be very close if we make it, because it's quite hard. Okay, we need another near miss, come on, one near miss. Oh, it didn't count, oh my god. And I guess we have a problem. This car doesn't want to drift, it's just not that powerful. And I guess we will not collect the needed amount of po no he will not see guys it's very hard you need only 15,000 points and in Forza Horizon 5 is just uh, two flicks uh, over back of your car and you get like 20,000 and here it is very hard okay we will not drift we will just go for near misses and for high speed let's try to do so Okay. And you cannot hit the trees here, <laughs> they're indestructible. Okay, near miss, near miss, near miss. Oh no, I hit the pole. Oh my god, and we lost all the points. Gee. Okay. Uh, stop! Oh no. See, guys, it's. It's so hard, this game is insanely hard. 
when you play Forza Horizon 5 for very long time, it's insanely hard. And you know what? That's why I like it. It's very challenging. Because there is not much of a challenge in Forza Horizon 5 now. It's so easy. Okay, we've performed some drifts. Okay. Some more. Let's perform a near miss. Yes. Okay, once again. Drifting. Okay. Come on. Oof. I guess we have a problem, guys, we will not be able to collect the needed amount of points, just like I said. See, this is the second go and I cannot accomplish this task, which would be so very, very simple and, and very easy in Forza Horizon 5. No, I will restart. Oh my god. Okay, I will concentrate. I will concentrate. And uh, as you can see, this game is in Russian. I have a Russian version, Russian DVD disc for my system. And at the moment, you cannot buy this game uh, in digital. Only if you can find somewhere uh, a disc for your Xbox 360. And of course, if you have Xbox One or Series X, you can play this game uh, using the disc in your system and uh, in Xbox Series X you will have a 4K upgrade of graphics and the game will look just phenomenal believe me guys okay Whew. Jesus I don't know it's, it's, it's virtually impossible for me to do it in this vehicle guys I don't know what to do okay I will try to drift just like so but the car is not very powerful it doesn't have enough power to keep on drifting and we are going uphill and the car really struggles we are revving redlining come on 30 seconds we need 2000 more points 2000 more come on and we did it we did it come on let's bank let's bank it let's bank it Ooh. Whoa, guys, that was really, really hard. So this is the second challenge and we have another challenge which, which is the simplest of them all. It's a photo shoot uh, where you just take your vehicle to some uh, nice scenery and take a photo. Okay, so let's finish this challenge and uh, try the photo shoot and see what car we will, we will have and uh, where we will have to take it for a photo okay photo shoot on dodge viper okay and we have to take a photo near the satellite dishes of media center and this is the most easiest challenges of them all the photo shoot because there is no time limit you can travel as slowly as you want uh, because uh, if you hit some vehicle or if you hit this car you will have to start all over again because as you can see in the upper right corner there is a damage um, indicator so if you damage your car uh, a lot you will have to start all over again so most of the, of the time uh, you will try to go very very slowly but it's no fun actually and I like to go as fast as possible so even though I am afraid to damage the car I will still try to go very quickly okay we are getting to it it's 
very close now. Okay, I see the media center. Okay, 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 we stop. Okay, break hard. Here's the media pack. And we are almost there. Ooh, for a little drift. And here are the satellite dishes. And let's take a photo. Okay. So let's choose the photo mode and take a photo. That's so very simple. Just like so. Excellent photo, she said. Okay. So we've managed to, to complete all three challenges on this Forza Horizon outpost. And now we are able to fast travel absolutely free. As you can see, it's a 100% discount for us for fast travel to this particular outpost. So you have to find all the outposts in every region to be able to fast travel to every region. It's, it's all that simple. So guys, um, I hope you really liked this episode of uh, revisiting for the Horizon 1 and uh, please write in the comment section. It really nicely handles and you can drift this car with ease because it has a lot of power. So this is all for today's episode of Forza Horizon 1 Revisited and press the like button if you like this episode and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will say goodbye to you, that was all for today and that was ice.